do you ever wish that we lived in a world where everybody has enough? Can you imagine that world? What would it take to get from here to there? There is a wisdom in this life. It is the wisdom with no hidden agenda. The wisdom of loving acceptance. The wisdom that knows how to create abundant, diverse environments. It's the wisdom of nature. It grows the forests. It runs in the streams. It sings in the birdsong. It pumps in our blood. It beats in our hearts. It grows our bones and it's present in every single cell. And yet somehow, we often feel so disconnected from nature, even though it's completely impossible. But it's not surprising. Look at the way that we are living. We live surrounded by noise. We spend our lives rushing along. We're responding all the time to beeping and bleeping and our heads are filled with the media telling us what we should consume next to find that happiness we yearn for. And there's a constant undercurrent of the news the, of all that's going wrong in the world. This is a heavy burden to bear and it is not in the least bit surprising that we feel so disconnected from the nature that we are, stuck, lost in the world of the man mundane and missing the incredible magic of now. The incredible magic that we even exist. We get stuck in our repetitive thoughts that keep us in grooves, not necessarily beneficial, fear, resentment, anger. But there are ways through. There are ways to slip through the cracks of this concrete. Just look at this plant. Look at the vigour of that plant pushing through these layers of concrete. And I invite you to take a journey with me to slip through the cracks of the apparent world, the surface world, the rushing, noisy, busy, anxious world, to touch and feel and be the magic. Hmm. As we do so, we place our story within the context of a greater song. The song of life that we can never leave and that we were always, always part of, that we belong to. So, my name is Mary Jane and when I was 18, I moved into the woods, I built a shelter, lived there with my friends and for that summer I spent lying on the earth watching the trees, sitting by the fire. It totally changed me. I'd never spent so much time in nature before and at last I felt at home, <laughs> accepted okay for just being who I was and I found great joy in incredible simple things like the shining of the sun on a leaf or a cobweb. So years later when I was a young mum I found myself feeling really freaked out by all those things that I mentioned earlier. The media constantly feeding into me and my innocent children, the pressures of society to fit in, in a particular way. And that going into a, a local shop meant that 
my little child just learning to read has just faced with massive headlines of disaster. I was yearning to get back into the woods and so I did something pretty radical <laughs> and I sewed a yurt. We left England, we went to live in the middle of nowhere in all weathers. There they are. They're 17 and 14 now. And living completely in the middle of nowhere with access to a lot of bird song. I could feel the effects of it in my body and I began to wonder how would it be? How would it affect us as individuals, as a culture and as world creators? If we were to exchange the noise and the rush for birdsong or nature sounds, to exchange the reiteration of bad news for birdsong. And I began to research it because I, I could feel this incredible difference in my body and I discovered amazing research and I recently did a TED talk on the subject, Rewire Your Brain with Birdsong. It should be available to see publicly by May. And discovered all kinds of incredible, crazy, amazing, brilliant things. A huge range of things. But what fascinated me most was the fact that listening to birdsong makes us feel connected to the world around us. It actually changes the way that we feel and behave towards each other and the world around us. That is pretty phenomenal. <laughs> we become more generous and thoughtful. So just imagine that on a big scale. More generous and thoughtful. More connected to the world around us changing the way that we feel and behave towards each other and the world. Maybe this can take us from this world to that world, the world where we can imagine that everybody has enough. And it's not really surprising. When you look at this diagram, you can see six million years, that's the time span of Homo erectus, the kind of form that we're in now, evolving with nature, with birdsong compared to that thin white line you can see, that's um, when the Industrial Revolution was. So that's when we started to be exposed to so much noise and life changed from being a very nature-based lifestyle. So I am offering training to you. You know, I have taken massive lengths to move my life into nature, but you don't have to do that. I have prepared ways. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I, have I have prepared ways to enter deep into the wonder of earth. No matter where you are, whether you're in the top of a high rise building, whether you're in a hotel room at a conference, <laughs> whether you're in an aeroplane, whether you're in an airport. I have found ways that I can share with you to make sure you never again feel disconnected from nature, but instead you feel the ever-present security and joy of knowing that you are part of something more. It gives us a vision possibility. Nature is so resilient and adapts to everything. She finds ways around and we too can do the same. We don't know what is possible. So I invite you to slip through the cracks with me. I have prepared a map. This is 
the world where we are in now and the world that we're heading towards. There's the compass, which is know you are earth. And there's the route. This is navigating all the um, obstacles that come along the way from inside and outside. I'm 49 now. Twen when I was 28, I lived in an ashram studying the patterns of the mind. There was a group of us and we studied together and we watched each other's minds and our own. We studied, I've studied ever since then. On my shelf here I've got a ton of journals recording all the patterns. So I can help you navigating the patterns of the mind. Nature shows us how to do it. The same patterns are there in the forest, in the stream. And as we do so, we can reawaken our ancient knowing that we are all part of nature. <laughs> this journey is for you. If you want to move from anxiety into awe, from despair into devotion, and from pain about the world into a passionate purpose. If you long to feel nature in you, if you find yourself stuck in habitual patterns and you want to find a way through, if you long to feel the awe and wonder of life, this is a journey of transformation, a complete shift in perspective, a shift in identity of who we are. The doors are open now. If you take a screenshot of that screen, you can see www.knowyouareearth.com slash apply dash here slash. <laughs> this is a massive training. When I say massive, I mean life-changing. I provide three months foundational training followed with three months of supported practice. And you might think, oh my God, so long, I can't do it. I can't sit watching <laughs> that woman endlessly. It's not like that. The reason it's so long is because we're dealing with patterns patterns that have had many, many years to install themselves and introducing new ones, finding new tracks. A lot of what I share with you, well, almost all of it can just be done in ordinary everyday life and some of it even in your sleep. And you know what? I expect you're waiting now for the big price. I offer this to you at a price that feels right for you. A price that you feel that you can afford. In doing so, I am demonstrating to the universe my trust and knowing that the universe will carry me as it carries all of us. Don't be shy. Click through. You will see that I've put a bunch of options. Some are huge because why not? Why not? <laughs> I believe in infinite possibility. And this inner work is the work that is absolutely necessary if we are to go on as a human species. There is nothing else as valuable as this.
it is priceless, <laughs> which is why I haven't put a fixed price. Go through, click on the link. There's a video that explains why about the pricing. I look forward to working with you. This is going to be great. Good things are coming. Thank you for joining me.